Hi everybody, welcome back all of my friends. It's Miss Alyssa here again to read to you another one of our 100 books that all kindergartners should know. Today's book is one of my favorites from when I was a little kid, and it's Corduroy. This is one of my all-time favorites. I hope that you enjoy listening to this one too. All right, look at that cute little bear. Look at that cute little corduroy. I love corduroy. This is by Don Freeman. And let's see, our publisher is Viking Press. So there we go. Those are the little corduroy overalls. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. So he's got this button, but this one is missing. Look at his sad face. There it is. Oh, Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Oh, he's so sad. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. I don't see it. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped on the escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. And now, now he's happy because he's going on a little adventure. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor and there before his eyes was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. Is that a palace? Or is that the furniture showroom at the mall? Silly Corduroy, he doesn't know. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. All at once he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. Is that his button, or is that part of the mattress? He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop! Off came the button and off the mattress, Corduroy toppled. Bang! Onto, into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Looks like he might have hit his head a little too. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds the, on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that, he exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. 
Who's hiding? This is one of my favorite illustrations. Who's there? <laughs> He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Everybody is all sleepy and ready for bed, and I think Corduroy is done with his adventure for the night. Corduroy was just waking up when the f first customers came into the store in the morning, and there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Look, they're both smiling. Do you see Corduroy's smile and Lisa's too? Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. And there she is taking care of him. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. Isn't that so cute? I love that one, that's so sweet. That even though nobody else wanted Corduroy, they kept overlooking him because his button was broken. Somebody who was the perfect friend came to take him and change his life. I just think he's so cute. Look at that little bear. He's pretty cute. All right, so that is another one of our books off of our 100 books list. So remember that you can come and check this one out if you would like to read this one aloud yourself. And until next time, I will see you all soon. All right, everyone. Bye.